This is a landscape of breathtaking beauty, of sweeping valleys and high passes, the home of giants and of hidden treasures, a habitat rich in flora and fauna, a place strong in community and culture, a land of heather and hill forts. The Cluidian Range area of outstanding natural beauty and dramatic Llantasilia mountains run 30 miles up to the magnificent coastline of North Wales. This unique area gives the people who come here a real sense of freedom. Join us on a journey through this truly spectacular landscape. The geology of the area has helped create a unique, distinctive landscape. During the last ice age, these hills were shaped and moulded by water and ice as giant glaciers carved deep valleys and high mountains, providing important ancient routes that continue to be used to this day. A rich mosaic of heather and bilberry carpets the upland plateau of the Cluidian Range and Llantasilia Mountains. In the autumn, the deep purple color of the heather gives way to a stunning tapestry of golden browns. Over the centuries, the heather moorland has been sustained by a continuous management cycle of burning and cutting, creating a semi-natural vegetation of international importance. Still carried out to this day, this traditional practice of moorland management will safeguard this unique landscape for generations to come. The heather is at a global scale on a par with the rainforest. Um, just because we've got lots of it in this country, we don't really consider it as being that important. So it's got a special community of animals and plants that are dependent on the heather moorland. Gorse and bilberry that makes a mixture of habitat. And then you've got the upland breeding birds, like the black grouse that's very rare. I think the space is fantastic, um, the openness of the landscape. It's just amazing when you walk through the heather and you can see all the way to Snowdonia, Liverpool and beyond. This area is valued because most of upland Britain was once covered by heather moorland. It's fast disappearing, but what's left is being preserved for everyone to enjoy. Maintaining this important landscape is seen to be one of the major challenges for the future of the uplands. People have been shaping the landscape of Heather and Hillford's area since the Stone Age over 10,000 years ago. A chain of spectacular Iron Age Hillfords dominates the skyline of the Cloidian Range and Llantasilia Mountains. In visiting Cadrewin, uh, I'm visiting one of a group of brilliant hill forts uh, in this part of Wales and indeed in, in the British Isles. Really fantastic. This one's extra special because these are not just a pile of stones. They're the remains of the stone ramparts, the defences and the brilliant entrance and so on. And almost whatever the weather, if I'm full of beans, if I'm feeling good and imaginative, then I can really feel I'm entering a space where people lived and people farmed and people had uh, parties and fair days and fine days 2,000 years ago. The ancient communities that built these spectacular structures around 2,500 years ago, have given us a tantalizing snapshot of their lives, and their legacy lives on. It's been an area uh, that we've enjoyed walking and coming to over the years. We've been fortunate enough to have been owners of the site um, all my life, since my grandfather, in fact, bought it in the 1930s. I used to come up to Penaclodia um, as a child um, and we would play here um, on the ramparts. Today we come up um, as a family to enjoy the scenery, particularly over to Snowdonia and the Vale of Cloyd. 
The landscape holds the footprints of past communities and cultures. And these giant defensive settlements give us a direct link to our ancestral past. Today, the open moorland of the Cluidian Range and Llantasilia Mountains is still predominantly managed for agriculture. Having the managed moorlands helped us to get on top of the mountain where the, where the heather was and it's not as strong now and it's become younger shoots where the sheep want to go on to and also being able to get there through the spring of the bracken. We were able to balance the farm stocking better really, being able to put more up there. And because of the efforts to preserve this landscape, it remains home to a special community of plants, animals and birds. A knowledge of the flora and fauna that inhabits the Heather and Hillforts area is being passed on to the next generation. For many other visitors, the Cluidian Range and Llantasilia Mountains is a fantastic place to get away from it all. Well, it's a great opportunity to obviously just take some gentle exercise. Coming up somewhere like this area is not too difficult with a young family. I grew up not far from here and it's lovely to be able to see the area that I grew up. We can see from here right across the hills to where we live now. On a day like today, and you know, there's lots of times in the year you can come up and see different views, different colours, the heather, it's just so amazing. And it's just good to get fresh air in your lungs. You know, I think you, you just get a sense of achievement without doing, you know, a full day out. You know, you can get some good sense of achievement just from doing a few hours up here. For thousands of years, the Cluidian mountain range and Llantasilia mountains have drawn people from far and wide for shelter, for community, for culture, for history, for heritage, and for beauty. But don't take our word for it. Come and see it for yourself.